Today's video is something very different. It is about clothes, so don't turn off, it is about clothes. It's a bit of a chatty video as well. I am doing a video with Glory B, who is also a YouTuber, and Glory B asked me if I would do a video with her where I'm sort of restyling her, and she, she calls it getting rid of her frump. Now, in my opinion, Glory B is absolutely not frumpy. It was just a matter of actually using the clothes in her wardrobe and tweaking them just to come up with some fun ways of wearing her clothes differently and addressing some style problems and talking about style formulas as well. So, this is real life looking at real life outfits that Glory B was wearing, seeing how we could actually change them up to give her something slightly different. If this is your sort of video, do enjoy this. It's a long video. Grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, glass of wine, whatever, and sit and enjoy it, or watch it in the background while you're chopping your vegetables. It is chatty. I will put times in for the outfit. So as if you just wanted to skip the chat, just go on through. Now, Glory B has a channel herself that talks about skincare, makeup, diet, looking good, and she has managed to reverse her osteoporosis naturally as well. She's a few videos up on her channel about that. So if that is your interest, please do go and check out Glory B's videos. Here is our chat. Hi, Glory. Hi, Anne-Marie, you're going to fix my frump. We've been wanting to do this video for over a year. And I'm 63 years old while we're making this video. So I tend to wear whatever's in my closet. And you and I have not gone through my closet piece by piece, but I bet you'd find something where you're like, you know what, just get rid of that. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about that some other day. Yeah, I mean, Glory, you're not a frumpy. So, um, so it's just a case of just having fun and seeing there's different ways of wearing things. Yeah, well, I've been watching your videos for a long time. I think I found you on Instagram first. And I was amazed at the tweaks you were making because you knew what was on trend. And some pieces, jewelry or pieces of clothing, you know are going to come back. So you just don't wear them for a while. Or you know the trend is right now to wear it differently. And yeah, I used exactly. to, I do a lot of skinny on skinny and you're like, that's not in. So let's start with the first piece. We have, I think, seven outfits with before and afters. So let's start with the first one. Okay, so the first one, you're wearing some skinny jeans with a, a pretty blouse. And this is absolutely perfect because you've got the right balance of, from, from a, a shape perspective you've got the right balance because your blouse is actually looser than your jeans and you're pairing it with a nice pairing the jeans with some pretty sandals that are delicate and go well with a skinny jean and you've got a fabulous figure as well the only element here is that if you look at the length of the jeans your legs in the jeans from where the blouse finishes and you compare that length to the length of your shoulder down to the bottom of your blouse, they're pretty well equal. And that's one of the balances we try to avoid. So we either want the top half to be of what we're wearing to be shorter than the bottom half or the other way round. Mm -hmm. So a way of getting around that is very simply just tuck this blouse in. And I don't mean tuck it in really tightly. I mean tuck it in loosely because then you can actually have some a feminine effect mm -hmm. by pulling out the blouse and then creating again a looser top over the skinny jeans yes so it's and like the so, word we call blousey make it blousey yes yes exactly well my mother used to say blues on them i don't know if that's actually a oh, word or blues on. yeah so blues on this out blues on this out so i think i must have learned this from her yes yes and this shirt doesn't come in extra small. I wear an extra small, so I got it in the size small. It's big on me. The sleeves are really big. Luckily, it has elastic cuffs, so I was able to pull them up. Yes, yeah. And that's um, a, a good point about the balance because you've actually got, because you're showing your, your feet in the sandals, you've got a good balance of naked skin on your feet with your wrist i see but if it was winter and i was wearing a boot then you'd have a jacket over the top so then i put a seat. jacket over the top okay okay yeah. so and maybe still do the front tuck so you taught me here to do the front tuck 
properly and it's, yeah it's tucked in in the front and um hanging in the back yes and often with the front tuck people people have problems with it because they're using the wrong top to do it with so you can't really do a front tuck with a tight top it needs to be one that's sort of got some looseness to it in the first place really yeah. and if it doesn't work it doesn't work it's it, and it's not that you can't do it it's actually the top's not right or the height of the jeans the waistband of your trousers isn't the right waistband ah uh, right and, and if i did wear a jacket it. on this i'd have to make sure it was long enough to cover the back of the shirt or just no. tuck it in all around oh with the jacket you wouldn't even yeah see the, just tuck okay. it in all around yeah yeah okay yeah all right not compulsory it's a good alternative to tunics because a lot of ladies like to wear tunics with skinny jeans or right. say with their capri pants and tunics are a bit dated and i know you're not going to show any tunics i know that but um just to say to other ladies that a blouse like this of this sort of length would be a good alternative to to the tunics this is a very flattering neckline it's a really it's a lovely blouse it's a lovely shaped blouse that you've got there mm-hmm. and um it's you're elevating it by doing the t- tucking it in and also the color con- combination we've used we've added in tan so in the before you're actually wearing some tan sandals but to bring those in with the rest of the outfit we're adding two other elements of tan so you've got then the tan belt and a tan bag right. because one style theory is that if you're having an accessory color have three of those items oh no okay okay so that's easy to do with shoes belt and handbag yeah or it could be neck it could be bracelet it could be watch strap it could be a scarf okay yeah. So uh, in this case, you you know, we've chosen to um, use a belt bag and add those to the tan sandals. So then you've got coordinated outfits. So that also makes then that last image kind of a, li- a little bit more elevated than your first image. Okay. Hold together. Yeah. Now yeah. that boss is a little bit I'm not saying the first image is frumpy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're just saying how to make it better. Ways of tweaking. Yeah. Yeah. Ways yeah. of tweaking. And that blouse is still available on Amazon as we're making this. So the interesting thing, I didn't buy anything new for this. We just use whatever I had in my closet. Yeah, and that's another a point I was actually going to say. It passed through my mind, and because I've got a 61-year-old mind, it flipped back out again before I said it. But um, this is about actually, you know, you've got the, a pair of jeans and you've got a blouse there, and you might think in the first image, I mean, you might or might not, but some someone might be wearing that and say, oh, I'm a bit bored of this because I've worn it so much. So they would get rid of the blouse. But no, just change it up, change the look. And you've got now a, an entirely different look, really. Right, exactly. Without buying okay. anything new. Yeah, without buying anything new, exactly. So, of course, I dress like this a lot in the spring and in the fall when I'm wearing jeans and uh, right. short sleeve T-shirts. I, I don't tuck them in at all. But a lot of us do just around the house. A lot of us do. I do. Yeah. In fact, today I've been wearing shorts and um, yeah, top just sort of untucked because I wasn't going out the house. It was comfortable. And also um, your flip flops. I mean, I've got flip flops that I wear, fit, F-I-T, F-M-O-P-S. And they are just so comfortable. Yeah. It is a comfortable. I know. Those are my Clarks. I have the Clarks in just about every color they come in. (laughs) Yeah. Um. If you were leaving the house and just wanted to quickly just change, keep the jeans on because they're always a hassle to get off and change, aren't they? Mm-hmm. You might just want to change your top and change your footwear, and that's easy. Just just swap out the T-shirt for a blouse, tuck it in all around or do a front tuck because you don't want to have it loose because you're going to have the half and half uh, look that we talked about earlier on. Yeah. So you want to create an image of one third, two thirds, so tuck it somehow. And then just change the footwear to a nicer pair of uh, sandals to leave, to leave the house in. And that's just an easy swap to elevate what you're wearing in the house. That's only if you want to. A lot of people, yeah. wear, you know, the, the, you know it's, it's a matter of do you want to. Right. Right. Um, it's perfectly okay not to want to. Right. Uh, this top is still available. <laughs> Spring 2023 and into summer. Um, this one is another loose one, but that's perfect then again for that, um, zhuzhing out, you know, mm-hmm. or blousing out to actually yeah, create zhuzhing. that. Thing. That was the oh, word. Yeah. yeah, I love that word. Yeah, zhuzhing. Yeah, so I would like to call it zhuzhing. Zhuzhing. 
Yeah, yeah. So then you've got you've got your by judging what you've created with that second image is the third to third as opposed to half and half, which you've got more of in the first image. You're more half and half because you're untouched, okay. and also in the first image you've got skinny with skinny which is not a look that the fashionistas are telling us that we are wearing at the moment. Mm -hmm. We are either wearing, we're wearing skinny with loose or loose with loose. Mm -hmm. But you've got a fantastic figure. And so I can see why you like wearing the skinny with the skinny. This is the outfit in, that you're wearing in the, um, with the fleece jacket, the t-shirt, the jeans and the boots. A very warm outfit. It's very, very cozy. It's that, it's, you know, around the house, keeping warm. Going out in the garden, dog walk, whatever you're, you're doing, uh, perfect. But if you wanted then quickly change to go out to meet somebody for coffee or, you know, have lunch with someone or go somewhere where you knew you were going to see people that you felt that you wanted to look different for, then just swap out the the fleece for a, a jacket, a blazer. Mm -hmm. And they're very on trend at the moment, blazers. it's uh, So there's going to be plenty around in the shops. But you've already got one in your wardrobe. You've probably got several in your wardrobe. So just swap it, swap out, take off the fleece, swap out the blazer for a blazer. And if you wanted to also shorten the necklace up into, change the necklace into a shorter necklace to fill that, to go slot into that T-shirt gap. Yeah. Really and see. also then you're also brightening your face because you've got your necklace closer to your face. And balance it by changing your footwear because you're showing some skin at the neckline. So show a little bit of skin at your feet in the summer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were the first person to alert me that the long pendants right now are not on trend. You said, don't get rid of them, though, because they're going to come back. What and exactly? We're, we're seeing them, seeing them in the yeah. shops again. So, yeah. yeah, when you said that, I was like, I've got a lot of them. <laughs> you know? yeah, so, I, I have as well. But I yeah. know at the moment, I'm if I wear them, I'm not going to look on trend. Because at the moment, jewelry changes. It almost seems like as soon as you've caught up with realizing what, what everyone's wearing and you've done it, you're doing it, doing what's currently on trend. The trend changes and goes back to what you just abandoned. And we're kind of at that stage that bigger jewelry is coming back in, in again and the big bold stuff and the maybe dangly bits as well, you know, like you. Yeah, so talking about necklaces, you know, I'm seeing more of the, the, the chunky and the longer, the bigger, the bolder. And until they are being worn everywhere, I kind of, for me, I'm talking about just me, really. I don't feel comfortable wearing those yet or getting out my my necklaces that are like that yet, my jewellery like that, because I feel like it will look like, at my age, I'm still a throwback to okay. when it was last. Instead of on trend. You know, online, they, sell, they show you everything. Yeah, so. exactly. Yes, yeah, so you can't see what's being highlighted, can you? No. But when I go around a department store, that's what I'm seeing now. And I'm thinking, I'm just not really comfortable yet. It just made me look like, um, not look like I'm being on trend wearing those. Yeah. But, but I maybe by fall or winter, more people exactly. will have caught on to the newest trend. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I'm seeing it on other people, you know, right. out, then I'll feel right. comfortable wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Okay, are we done with this one? I think we are. You're looking fab fabulous and showing off your figure. Here I'm showing most of my shirts look like what we see in the before. They're more fitted to me, so I'm doing skinny on skinny. And this is a different skinny jean. Yeah, so here we're looking at a shirt that is a, a tight shirt, so it's the same problem as with the T-shirt, although you've already got it tucked in, so you've already not... Um, You've eliminated the half and half problem. So you're already one third, two thirds, which is mm -hmm. is good. The issue here is is that if you wanted to be a perfectionist, according to the fashionistas, you wouldn't be wearing that shape, those two shapes together, the two skinnies together. You would be wearing a looser blouse with those jeans. Yeah. So that's why in the after I pulled out that blue and white shirt from Amazon again. Yes, because that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, you've done the front, the, the front tuck in the back, showing the rear perfectly, because when you were doing a front tuck, you want the shirt to be, you couldn't do a front tuck with that um, before shirt. That wouldn't right. work. Right. It's just too too tight. You, need, you, you do need something that's got some looseness to it. So you've done that beautifully there, and your after shows that sort of the, the curve 
the mm-hmm. curve of the, the hem at the rear. Yeah. I think I folded it, it under yeah. a little So it's bit. not a mess, you know. People sometimes say, oh, I'll do a front tuck it. It's a mess at the back. That's, the aim is it doesn't look a mess. That's not the aim. The aim is it's supposed to just look neat. And from the bit rear, you can't tell it's a front tuck. It would just look like it's actually, that's the shape of your blouse. Right. So I, like I said, I think I folded under the back and it is a lined shirt. And yeah. um, I I got it tight enough at the side so that if I was walking, moving around, let's say I was at a party or what have you, I don't want my movement to make the blouse shift where all of a sudden I came in where it was looking okay and later it looks terrible. Yeah, but after a few drinks, everyone looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I do have a honey front tuck story. So, um, you know, you know what to read, you know what's in. Well, I didn't know front tucking was in the first time it was in and all the young people were doing it. And I was at church and I used to be a producer at this big church. So I had to be on the lookout for anybody on stage with a wardrobe mal- malfunction. And I've seen them. <laughs> and I had to get to the person, including my pastor who once ripped his pants and didn't know it on the back. Uh, but anyway, this girl who was singing, girl, she was in her 20s. So her front talk wasn't quite proportioned, you know, from the center out. So it was a little bit off center. And I saw her and I thought, oh no, that poor girl, she probably went to the women's restroom and didn't check in the mirror before she left and she's all out of whack here. No, she was purposely doing that. But it's been around for so long now, you wonder when when it's going to actually be a, not a thing, but maybe it's just considered to be such a flattering way of wearing something. Yeah. That it's, it's well, I it. think you'll know when it's considered out and you'll tell us. Like, stop doing that. I'm doing a lot more full tucks now all the way around. You're doing more full tucks? Okay. Yeah. Okay. How about that shirt you're wearing right now? So it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit here. We don't have air conditioning in our homes. So what I'm wearing is just is this um, uh, blouse that's bamboo along with some cotton shorts. And I haven't got it tucked in at all because it's just loose because that's how I'd want to be called. Yeah. Yeah. This one is a play on the previous where I'm sticking with the same shirt, starting with the before with the skinny jeans, and then tell us what I did in the after to pull it together. All right. right. So instead of swapping out the top, you can swap out the jeans. So if you wanted to wear, in that case, the blouse, and you wanted to tuck it in all around to get the balance, wear a looser pair of jeans. So you've got a skinny or slimline top showing off your figure, and then... Uh, looser jeans. So these are straight jeans, I think you're showing here. Yeah, yeah, they're more of a boot cut. It's hard to tell yeah. in the picture now that I'm looking at the picture, but they are yeah. boot cut. But so, um, um, you know, so that that helps that uh, silhouette balance. And then you told me I went with a brown shoe. I should have gone with a tan shoe since I went with the tan belt and the tan purse. Yes, that yes, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring those three right. elements, that one accessory color in. So um, tan tan sandals would be, again, would be good. And you've got the tan sandals. So if you're wearing that out, you see tan sandals. And those sandals have a heel and even a little bit of a tiny wedge, you know, half inch. And so those those blue jeans in the after are longer. In fact, one time a few years back, because I have so many jeans, and I have some that are shorter and some that are longer, I actually took a tape measure from my sewing kit and I measured every inseam and I took a Sharpie marker and I wrote on the inside on the tag, the length in inches. So I thought, okay, these are longer. This is 33 or 34 and these are 28 or 29. So I could just, yeah. And I separate them now (laughs) by length in my closet. And by looking at them, I know whether they're a boot cut or a skinny jean. Mm, that's a good yeah. idea. You could alternatively do because you've got that darker sandal with a heel with those um, those jeans, which complements the jean well. And you've got a darker belt. You could just use a darker bag and so forget the tan. Right. I could have gone with all brown. Yeah. I don't think I have a brown purse. 
<laughs> I have my I have my frumpy big black purse and I'm still toting around in June. <laughs> Get a straw bag because that will go with oh, lots of that. Straw stuff. bag, yeah. Because that's neutral. They're usually bigger. Right. So this is um, white jeans, which are skinny with yeah. a pink t-shirt. And you're so you're before you're showing two befores. One is where you have got it tucked in, right? And so that's then you've got your proportions right, your third two thirds, but you've also but but you've actually got the skinny with skinny. So there's your um, which is not ideal, right? And the alternative is un untucking the t-shirt, and then you've got more of that uh, half and half look. Not exactly half and half, but it's more that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so um, we just thought that maybe because we want to show off your fantastic figure, maybe just a slightly looser top with the looser, shorter top with the skinny jeans that you're having. So you're having it hanging out, so it's but the top's not as long as your t-shirt is, and it's not as tight as your t-shirt is. Actually, flattering and showing a bit of skin as well, because we're talking about now at the moment these days, we're talking about the. Um, the cutaway in clothes. And we we're not going to. Oh talk about yeah, it. you had a top on a few videos yeah, ago. Showing a little bit of a little bit of skin there, which is quite yeah. fine because you're actually not showing any. It, it's not sort of like wrinkly skin or, or you know, um, anything. Right. Like, you're not showing too much or showing skin in the area you don't want to be showing mm -hmm. showing skin because it's wrinkly. So it's just about just about right. And um, yeah, so it's it's slightly just a certain shape to the t-shirt and shorter than t-shirt. So it's actually solving the problems that arose from the t-shirt were with those those jeans mm. and then what you're doing also you've got the navy or dark colored top and black boots either black or navy boots you've got your bag so that's three elements although they're not like three accessories they're still three elements of one color or ish you know three elements together coming coming together and you've also got here the sandwich formula as well because your mm. bottom being your shoes is the same color as your top and then you've got the white in the middle and that, oh. that oh, formula is a sandwich okay and that's on trend right now to do that well it's a, it's not really a on trend or a not on trend it's just an out it's just a formula okay where your color on your top and your shoes match yeah. and then a different yeah. color yeah okay i Again, being petite, I also like a monochrome look on me. I don't think I did any of that today for um oh, blue. 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 Sorry. You've got a few blues. Like oh, the blues. blues. That's and true. That's, that's yeah. true. That's true. Um years ago they said if you're shorter and you're wearing monochrome, it can make you look taller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's still true. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. something to change. I mean, I'm only five foot one. I was shorter than you. Are you not five three? I thought you were. No, little... five one. I'm five one. You're five one. Really? Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness! Mm. You don't look, you don't appear that in your photos. So you again because you know how to wear clothes, <laughs> and you were in the corporate world for years, and you know how it is being a woman first of all, and then being petite. Yeah. You know, I don't know if when you were younger, but did you ever feel like somebody's going to pat you on the head in your 20s oh, in the corporate gosh. world? Yes. yes, and they called me um, grow, grow Bag. <laughs> they called <laughs> you what? At the school, I was Grow Bag. <laughs> oh. And there's some um, tomato um, uh, bags so with a compost in. You just put the tomato plant in or whatever. Over here, they were called Grow Bags. Ah. Uh. They called sort of like, like I needed fer to be planted in fertilizer to grow. So that's what my, my um, it was actually my brother's um, friends at school. Yeah, he they called him Grow Bag and me Grow Bag too. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, he shot up. He he actually came a decent height, whereas I I didn't. <laughs> so um, oh, I I don't know. I, I I don't think about it most days. I just accept. You know, it's just is. It's it's an is. But what I do notice is if I'm going to, an, if I'm at a noisy party or um, some such where people are talking, I'll often find that men are talking across my head, across the top of me. And that means I can't hear them because the sound doesn't carry down. So I stand there nodding, you know. Oh, I have to think about that. If that's ever happened to me, I'm sure it has. 
Oh my goodness. You'll notice it now. Yeah. If we only had like secret little cameras to pick that stuff up, because no one, if you told that to somebody who's tall or even a woman, she'd probably say, oh, you're just imagining. (laughs) I gave a talk at a conference in, actually it was in um, Washington, D.C., and um, I had no idea. I was standing up on stage in with the podium in front of me. And when I finished talking, um, the people at the front were saying, we could only see the top of your head because it was like this. But the people at the back could see me fine because of the angle. They yeah. could see my face. But because my eyes were over the top of the podium, I had no idea that people couldn't see the bottom of my face. Yeah. And usually... What they'll do in those situations, they'll have what what used to be called a soapbox. So it was a wooden box, you know, that you could stand on that was a few inches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, either there was one there and I didn't see it. I didn't even realize I had the problem. But nobody pointed it out to me and said, why didn't you stand on the soapbox? You know, I wasn't interrupted uh, right. and guided to do that. So um, here's one button down shirt I have that is a placket shirt. <laughs> it's not fitted. <laughs> No, exactly. And your 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 lilac jeans are fitted. And so what you're achieving here is that silhouette of the loose with the skinny, which works. You've got in the after as well. Well, they're all afters, aren't they? So yeah. um, you're wearing three elements of tan as well, which goes well together. The only other comment, which is not, um, it's just an observation, is that they're both um, light colors. So you've got a low contrast outfit. And so I was going to ask you if if you know what contrast you are. No. I know for me, and you might you might know just from instinct what you are. But I know that I like I don't like black and white together for instance. That's too harsh for me or really dark and a real a dark and a light. But I don't like all light on me because all light is low contrast the dark and a light is high contrast i like mid dark with a mid color mm-hmm. which is mid contrast and that seemed to have suited my hair color with my face color and my eyes mm-hmm. the depth of color in my eyes and i did do a video on contrast but i'm not the expert an expert on it i just did a lot of research and tried to work it out and did a video on contrast so Whether you instinctively know what contrast you are because you look in the mirror and think this looks right or it doesn't look right, or whether you've done analysis to actually establish what contrast you are. But that was, that's what I was, um, but you've actually got, because you've got the tan in there, that brings about mid contrast. So your blouse and your um, jeans are low contrast by bringing that style. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. By bringing in the belt bag and shoes as a as a tan, they're slightly deeper in color. So you're then making that low contrast color combination mid contrast, which may be more what you are aiming for instinctively mm-hmm. to suit your coloring. Okay, so the mid contrast colors are not pastel. So if we figure pastels over here and the darker black, navy, deep colors are over here, yeah. the mid colors are. Anything that's not those. <laughs> so the shirt you're wearing today. Oh, this would be mid, yeah. That's mid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And maybe even yeah. what I'm wearing it. Um, I'm wearing it with uh, actually yellow shorts. So if you were looking at a black and white photo, which is how to look at contrast, uh, the shorts would look um, light compared to the blouse, but not the blouse is not going to come out really dark. Yeah. And the shorts are going to come out really white. So they're going to be both kind of mid-contrast against each other. So if you're wondering for yourself and you're trying an outfit, you could take a picture with your phone and then change it to black and white. (laughs) Exactly. That's what I say in my video. What's light? What's dark? What's in the middle? In the green? Yeah. That's what I say in the video on contrast that I did. Yeah. This is exactly what I Great. Great idea. So the color combination I'm wearing today, this I'm not going to show you. It's not it's it's not an ideal color combination, but the contrast would be right. And also how I'm not wearing how I'm wearing it, it's just loose to keep <laughs> to keep cool. cool. Um, and I just put on some old Bowden shorts just because I wanted. To, oh, actually, because I um put self tanner on my legs. Oh, okay. Which I do. I definitely I, do that. 
I only got the white skin, so yeah, yeah, my legs done. Yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. Just self tanner on. Right, and now that your back's feeling better, you can self tan your legs. You, I'm exactly. sure when your back was hurting, you weren't doing. Anne Marie, thank you so much for doing this. We did this remotely. Like I said, we're six or seven hours apart from one another. We did this on a couple Zoom calls and I didn't have to go out and buy anything. It was so much fun. And I hope people, my viewers, come over to your channel, My Over 50 Fashion Life, and check out everything that you talk about because you keep us on trend. Well, I try to. I have to keep, I try to keep myself on trend, which is why I try to keep, you know, I just put it into videos. But, some, but yes, I am so honored that you thought of me as well. I didn't really think I was a likely candidate for you to think of for, for doing a collaboration with on, on dressing you, but it has been a lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done anything like this before. I do have one friend who sends me pictures now and then says, I'm going to a wedding. Which shoes shall I wear? And she sends me a couple of options. And I think, see, I should charge for this. Yes, you should. Turn it into a business. <laughs> you should. Right. All right. Thank you. But it's been great fun. Thank you, Glory.